So let me talk about this ADHD contradiction. So on the one hand, I can be incredibly consistent and focused on things. For example, this YouTube channel. I committed to being more consistent about four months ago, five months ago. And although I don't have a set ritual for when I upload videos, I've been pretty consistent in making sure that every week there's been something go out, sometimes more. Lately, it's been more like three videos, but I've been really consistent with it. In my business for the last six years running my business, I've been very consistent in putting the work in that I needed to do to build my business. And yet in some things like health and fitness, I find it really, really hard to be consistent. If it's something that I'm not particularly passionate about or driven by, I find it hard to be consistent. If I don't get a very quick reward, if I don't see the fruits of my efforts quite quickly, I tend to get bored or I lose interest or something more important will come along. Well, it's probably not more important, but more interesting will come along and it will take me off track. Sometimes I will come back to things. Sometimes they just get forgotten. But I think I've realized there are a few things that really don't help with this. And one of them is lack of sleep. And I really struggle with what I call sleep procrastination or revenge sleep procrastination or insomnia, whatever the heck you want to call it. So an example of this. So last night I was watching a series on TV uh, with my husband and it was a really interesting one. I was quite enjoying it. It was a six parter and I think we were watching, I think we were into number two. Uh, so, so um, episode two and it was about half past 11 last night and he said oh it got to the end of the episode so I'm off to bed I was like okay I'll be up in a minute and I then continued to watch the whole of the rest of the series so I finally dragged myself off to bed at half past three this morning but I was wide awake because of course I was watching it was a, a thriller um it was all about a stalker don't know why I quite like that kind of stuff um, and of course my brain was stimulated because I'd been watching this story that was you know had me on edge watching it so then it probably took another I don't know 40 minutes or so 50 minutes before I actually fell asleep I, I can't remember I think the last time I looked at the clock it was about 20 to 4 this morning and then I was up again at eight o'clock. So today has been a bit of a write-off. I've not been out for a walk yet today. I am going to go for a walk, but I've just not had any energy, not surprisingly. I've done some bits and pieces uh, in terms of work. I've had a couple of calls, but basically I've not, not really been functioning very well at all today. It's been a bit of a sort of a couch paralysis sitting with my laptop I didn't even go up to the office where I've got everything that sort of there's something about walking into the door of my office I moved from home mode into work mode and today it was like I pulled a sickie and did some work from home because I just literally sat on the sofa with my MacBook and I know I'm never as efficient I'm never as productive when I'm on the sofa but I just felt like I didn't have the energy to go upstairs to the office and I know this is all my own doing I know if I just went to bed at the right time, I could get up at, the, at a, a decent time and I would have the energy during the day. And it's like I self-sabotage all of the time. Thankfully, today I got, so, I got confirmation that I've got some access to work funding to get some support. Um, and part of that funding is to fund an ADHD coach. And I'm all for coaching. I am a coach. It's what I do but you can't read the label from inside the jar. Sometimes you need somebody else's outside perspective to help you see the blind spot. So I'm going to get myself an ADHD coach. I know exactly who I want to work with. I'm just praying. 
I'm hoping she has capacity to take me on. Um, if she doesn't, I then have to decide, do I wait until she's got capacity or do I go and find a different coach? But I think coaching will really help because I'm not, I can't do this on my own. I think I've realized that I'm, I'm just, I don't have the, the tools. It's the sleep bit more than anything. If I think if I could sort my sleep out, all of the other stuff would slot into place in all aspects of my health, you know, going out and exercising, eating better. Um, I definitely think I eat worse when I'm very tired. It stands to reason, doesn't it? And I also think when I'm this tired, it's putting my body under stress. And we don't metabolize fat as well when we're in a stressed state. So I, the stupid thing is I know I know all of this, but it's actually doing something about it. And I haven't even put any makeup on. That's how tired I am. I've probably got big black rings under my eyes. But um, I wanted to, I wanted to get on here and just share my experience. And, and let me know in the comments if you have ADHD. Does this resonate with you? If it does, have you got strategies to to get? better at getting to sleep on time because I genuinely need all the help I can get uh, and, and I'm willing to try anything because relying on my own willpower and self-discipline isn't flipping working. I wake up in the morning and I'm like, oh, why? Why did you do this to yourself? But in the evening, it's like every, every ounce of my body is going, I'm going to watch another episode just going to watch another episode. I'll be fine. I don't know why. Anyway, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care.